Man, I cannot believe it has been two whole weeks since I put these things in for the first time. And let me tell you, it honestly wasn't as bad as I expected, but there was definitely some things about it that I think I should share with you guys. So today's video, we're just going to be talking about that and how my experience went for the first uh, two weeks, talk about the pain, how difficult it is to eat, stuff like that. And if you stick around until the end, we're going to be jumping into my second scan and potentially putting the second pair of aligners in. What's up guys, my name is Caleb and welcome back to my channel. Now if you haven't already, be sure to go watch my first video in the series on the unboxing of these things right here, the uh, Candid Aligner Treatment. And uh, just jumping right into things, I'm just going to talk about how the first few days went. Basically, when I first put them in, it was pretty uncomfortable, not going to lie. Um, the first few hours was fine, but I ended up going to sleep within a couple hours after putting them in. But when I woke up in the morning, my teeth were definitely very sore. Like, I couldn't really clench my jaw that much, I couldn't really like eat anything. It just feels weird weird. It's like not like even like a painful thing. It's just like really uncomfortable. Like you want to take them out kind of. The way my jaw closed was definitely noticeable or noticeably different almost immediately. I noticed that my jaw stopped clicking as well because I have this issue where if I bite down all the way and then I open my jaw, sometimes my jaw will pop on the left side. And so the first like two days, I'd say they were super sore. I couldn't really eat a whole lot unless it was like really soft, like a banana or like pasta or something like that. But then from day three to day seven, it wasn't nearly as noticeable and I could start eating like normally again and I could eat like crunchy stuff. I had some like fried calamari, I think on day four or five and that was fine. But it's definitely very difficult to chew your food up. So uh, what I would recommend is to take them out every time you want to eat. Otherwise, it's just kind of a pain to clean them afterwards and it's kind of like gross to get them out. You can't really even like bite down all the way. So you're, you're just kind of like crushing the food over and over until it's small enough to swallow you're not really like chewing it up the second week was honestly like barely anything i could eat with them in or out just fine and not even really notice a difference because I, after you've had them on for a little bit they kind of like set on your teeth a little more so the shape of the aligners is the way that your teeth are supposed to be at the end of the two week period and so after about a week your teeth like fully fit into the aligners like perfectly and then you can actually close your jaw the way it did before it was it was just hard to like bite down on like chew chewy things and even super chewy things after the two weeks is still pretty difficult like for example like beef jerky or like uh, dried like mango or like you know dried fruits or like breadsticks like really tough bread was pretty hard. Um, bagels are kind of borderline for the first week. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the eating part. Now, as far as cleaning goes, I will tell you right now, these things are your best friend. So I basically carried like two or three of these with me every single day with the pole tool. So I would just put them all in this little pack right here, just like this. And I was carrying that for about the first week because you really needed the pole tool every time you wanted to take them out. If I was uh, at a restaurant eating, I would have to go go to the bathroom real quick and just pull them out quickly rinse the things off but then after about a week um once they are like more set on your teeth like i was saying they get a little bit easier to take off so you can actually just kind of get them off with your like finger just by like prying it off i'd say probably the worst part isn't even having them in for the first few days but having to use the pool tool for the first few days when your teeth are sore because these things are on your teeth like so like locked down that when you go to pull them off you're putting a lot of pressure on your teeth it just is like kind of hard to get over like you kind of like are like wincing a little bit when you pull them out and that's definitely the most painful part is the actual act of taking them out the other thing i was going to mention too is throughout the course of the first week or so maybe even the first week and a half i'd say that there was like two or three very specific teeth in my mouth where it felt like they were being like more more sensitive than others and I noticed this because at the end of the day when I would finally do like the final flossing of the night before I go to bed it would be like fine for the most part but then there'd be two or three teeth where it was like extra sensitive when I tried to like slide it in between so that was definitely something I noticed other than that I mean like I pretty much was flossing with these like probably five or six times a day and I would brush my teeth like three or four times a day for the first few days and then after the first week I kind of like chilled out on that a little bit and just went back to brushing like two maybe three times a day depending on how much I eat and then I would definitely floss like every single time unless you eat with the aligners in then I would just try and clean your aligners out within like an hour so it's not like an emergency but one thing to be concerned about though is coffee soda and anything sugary those are probably my biggest concerns now I'm a coffee drinker I drink coffee probably once a day so usually what I would do is I would get out of bed and I would brush my teeth and then I would drink coffee 
with these out within like 30 minutes and then I would brush my teeth again and then put them back in and same with like drinking like dark soda like root beer or coke or something so those are probably the two things that I would like make it like a 911 emergency to go clean them out like within 20 minutes you probably want to do that but as far as eating everything else you could probably be fine you know after an hour and anything sugary too so like candy or like brownies or cookies or chocolate or anything like that you definitely want to clean these aligners out as soon as possible after that because what will happen is the food can kind of like get up and under the aligners on your teeth and then it's just like sitting on the surface of your teeth until you clean them then your saliva in your mouth can't like break it down and like wash it down or whatever so it's just kind of like sandwiched between your aligners and your teeth and i just feel like that's probably not the best just definitely Stay on top of keeping them clean. Now, the other thing I was gonna mention too is when you do clean them, I started off just using my toothbrush and I would pretty much like scrub like in the center parts and then I would like brush the outside of them just like you would your normal teeth. But after about a week or so, um, I ended up using the actual electric part of the toothbrush too because at first I didn't think, I thought it'd be too aggressive for these, but these can honestly take quite a beating. Just don't use hot water. Food can definitely, like even if you think you clean them really well, you, you can get food kind of like stuck in the little crevices your molars so it's really important to after you clean them to like really examine them and make sure that like every little bit of it is clean and then as far as that whitening stuff that it came with that little bottle i would probably use that like twice a day or so i would use it like in the morning or uh before i go to bed and it's best to use that i'd say when you plan on not taking them out for at least like two or three hours that way you're not just like putting the whitening stuff on and then 30 minutes later you go eat and take them off and brush your teeth again so yeah that's pretty much everything that i had to say about that i guess we could just move on to the scan here so so you'll get a notification about two weeks after you put the first ones in and it'll say to start your next scan you'll have a little pop-up like this but it'll appear on the whole screen and it'll say that with this scan you need to actually keep your aligners in whereas with the first one I just had my normal teeth and I did the scan that way and then I put the aligners in afterwards and do a second scan but this one it's just saying to skip straight to scanning them with the aligners in so let's go do that okay so the things you're gonna need to do the scans if you haven't already is you need your phone of course and then you need this little scan box thing and then you need the little cheek retractor deal right here so it's saying to put the aligners in first so make sure you do that Okay, now that the phone case is off, you can put that inside. You'll want to make sure that this little arrow on the inside here, I'm just blocking the flashlight so you can see, but there's a little arrow right there with a the number in it, and you just want to make sure that's lined up with the actual lens on the camera, which is going to be the top lens closest to the corner. So I just press this button on the side like this, and then I can kind of move it up and down. So I'm going to go with 8, and I have the iPhone 12 Pro. So if you have the iPhone 12 Pro, you're gonna be setting this little thing on the inside to the number eight. All right guys, now it's my favorite part. Okay, so I guess it only had me do one scan with the aligners in and it wants you to take them back out. Okay, so now it's gonna ask me to review all the pictures like it did last time. So it wants all of my teeth to be fully visible my back teeth need to be visible, and then your teeth need to be slightly apart for some of them, and then other ones you have to have them together. And the very last one, you have to open your mouth wide open. And that one's kind of tricky, I had to redo it a couple of times, but I had to end up holding my bottom lip down because my lip was covering my bottom teeth. Okay, so it hasn't given me any extra information yet, but it says my next scan is on November 24th, so that is exactly two weeks from now. All right, guys, I just put the aligners back in again and all the scans are done. So now I just got to wait until they get back to me on if I can upgrade to the next set or not. Yo, so I was just finishing up editing today's video and I just got a notification from Candid. So let me pull that up real quick and let's see what they say. So it says... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so it looks like all the metrics finally updated and now there's a see progress video. So I'm gonna click on that and see what happens, but I think it's gonna appear sideways. So let me just switch to this real quick and then I'll put myself right there. So what do we got here? Oh, this is crazy. There's so much movement already. That's insane. Wow, that's really cool. Well, um, it's kind of embarrassing because all my teeth are stained in yellow, but um, so yeah, you can see that my front teeth were covering the bottom ones like substantially more in the beginning. And now there's already like way more space like that. So yeah, it's already starting to rotate some of them a little bit. That's really crazy. That's so cool. I didn't even know that they would have something like this. So what does this show? Oh, the side by side. Now I'm really excited because they're about to send one of these every single time I do 
this. And what does the report say? It says, Dear Caleb, here are the notes on your most recent scan. Your treatment is tracking nicely. You're ready for the next stage of treatment. You can now move on to the next step. Great work brushing and flossing. Your teeth look great. So it's saying to move on to my next aligners. So awesome. Let's do that right now. I'm really stoked about this actually. I cannot believe they got back to me so quick. I thought it'd be like a day or two. Now we got package number two. So let's do this. So here are the next ones. Pretty much the same as the first ones because you can barely even tell the difference in the beginning. But um, I'm gonna pop these out and they say to keep the old ones. So I'm just gonna like clean them out and dry them off really well and just put them back in the original packaging that they came in. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop these out and pop these in. Yeah. You guys see that? Okay, we got the moment of truth. Oh boy, it's gonna start hurting again. Um, yeah, they're they're gripping pretty hard. Um, I can definitely feel it. It feels just like the first one did. They're they're really hard to get on the first time. So here's the bottom ones. So already I can tell that I can still close my jaw just as good as the first one. So that's nice. That is a good sign, I think. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was like pressing them down, kind of like deep in the back, you really have to like individually press down on every single tooth and you'll hear it kind of like squeak its way down and lock in and you really need to make sure that they're on all the way. And that's what the chewy things are for is so you can chew on them just to like secure them in place because they need to be for sure 100% of the way down. And cool, I'm glad, I'm thankful I was able to include that in today's video and didn't have to add it to the next one. So if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a fat like down below. And if you wanna see more weekly content related to finance, please drop a subscribe down below as well. And also if you wanna stay up to Today with me on my candid aligner journey and with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one